Hey guys, hey everyone, how are y'all doing? You know it's a girl Twin D. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. And of course, as usual, big up on yourself. And as you just saw today, I will be showing you how I make your face toner. And of course, yes, this face toner is a wash off face toner. And your first ingredient that we have here that we are going to be putting in our toner is sea salt. Now, sea salt has a lot of benefits when fighting acne. It fights anti-causing acne causing bacteria it restores your skin's ph balance it detoxes the body it provides vitamins and minerals and other nutrients that the skin will need to stay clear and healthy and one of the most important thing about sea salt is that it will exfoliate the it will exfoliate and remove all the impurities that clogs your pores and it will promote new skin growth so that's yeah that's why i love using sea salt in the toner and most importantly it's organic it is organic and we will be using water of course and we'll be using the distilled water so here I'm just measuring out the amount that I need to make the amount that I'm going to make. <laughs> yes. So now guys, I'm just going to I'm just going to turn the heat on so that I get a little heat to help to help melt the sea salt because if I didn't do this it would have taken me a million years to stir this out as you see I'm stirring some of the the, the, the what do you call it granules they are finally um, disappearing so that's what's left after some minutes of stirring and I mean like 15 minutes <laughs> but I did not let it boil because the water would, would evaporate again, leaving more salt. So I did not let the water boil. I just made sure that there was heat underneath the, the pot so that it helps with the friction when I'm stirring to melt the sea salt. And there I'm, I'm going again a little more stir because there is still a little bit more of the salt left inside. But that was enough. That was enough. The girl's arm was tired. <laughs> that was enough because there wasn't even, there wasn't a lot left anyways. So that will eventually get mixed out when I add the other ingredients. And now we're going to add pure apple cider vinegar. Now this is another awesome ingredient for facial toners. It has powerful antimicrobial properties that help to ease skin infection. It also helps to restore the natural pH of the skin just like the salt does. And But it allows the, the skin to keep its moisture and keep the irritants out. And one of the most important thing again is that it also acts as an exfoliant. But this exfoliant gives you a nice, soft, silky, smooth skin afterwards. And now we have your vegetable glycerin. And glycerin is a humectant. And a humectant is a substance that allows the skin to retain moisture. So we definitely need this because we do not want the sea salt and the apple cider vinegar because it has the exfoliating properties to dry out your skin. The glycerin, it increases skin hydration, rel relieving your skin of dryness. And it also, it's also an emollient, which means it softens skin. And it also refreshes, freshens up your skin surface helping that beautiful glow to come out. So now you're seeing how this toner is coming together and the benefits of each ingredient that's in this toner. Like I said before, this toner is a wash off because of the ingredients that's inside. 
these ingredients together they're pretty strong they they work they work awesome you will say they work instantly and especially the salt it will also leave a film on the face so you need to wash this off after you use it now we're gonna add our secret ingredient rose hip oil this oil is so beautiful it hydrates it moisturizes it helps to exfoliate and brighten those dark spots it also boosts collagen formation all these things that you need for healthy skin and now we have our tea tree oil which is another bomb oil <laughs> it kills bacteria it disinfects cuts and wounds and if you have any cut or wound on your face when you use this it would also help to heal it because we know we pick our face a lot so it will help to heal it as well and of course our essential oil i chose chamomile because it not only smells good, but it also helps. It also helps with calming of the skin and to help with irritation and breakout. That I, that I just showed you is polysorbate 20. You use polysorbate 20 when you're dealing with oil and water mixtures because oil and water, they do not mix. And in order to have these two ingredients stay together, when we put them together and stop running from each other, <laughs> you add the polysorbate 20 to help the two mixtures combine and stay combined. Yes, got to mix it up, mix it up. This toner, guys, will be... On my website, if you are if you're interested in purchasing, it's on the website at tdhb.club. So you can go over there and you will find it on the treatments. Right there, I was I was going to throw it into the mixture, but then I began to think and I'm like, uh, no, it's oil, so let's pour the water on the oil. It would be much easier. <laughs> It would be much, 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 much easier. So I just decided to pour it in my little cup. Now I'm mixing everything together to make sure that all the ingredients, everything, all the beautiful rose hip oil and the tea tree oil it gets mixed right into that sea salt water and the apple cider vinegar while the glycerin is there to keep that moisture in your skin and here now one of the most important ingredient our preservative whenever you're dealing with um, water if you're making something with water well, not food obviously <laughs> well some food they do yes they do put preservative in foods canned foods and stuff like that but to prevent mold from growing we have to use some sort of preservative in our liquid formulations. If you don't want any preservative in your formulations that have water in it, then all you're going to be left with is mold. And within a couple of days, even, I don't know how fast it starts to grow, but that's what you end up with, mold. But So your preservative is there to stop mold formation or prevent it water has oxygen everyone and oxygen provides that space for bacteria to grow so that's why you need your preservative so here is your um i'm just filling the the bottle but as i was filling this bottle i thought that I thought that I may have um, missed something, like, like it needs something else. There, there is your toner all done and ready. But like I was saying, I felt like I needed to see something else, like I needed something else. And then, yes, I threw them back out of the bottle. I had done two. And this is what it was missing. A little zazz, a little sparkle. 
so I added some mica some silver white mica and this silver white mica is so beautiful it really made the toner shine and because it doesn't mix all the way into the liquid it's like when you shake it it's like um it, it's like it's like some white clouds you you'll you'll see it in a couple of seconds but it's so beautiful so there you go guys look at that look at how that that shines look at look at that look at I could just play with it all day, <laughs> but look at that, look at that. So now let's fill your bottles and put them away. Again, guys, if you're interested in purchasing this toner, you can go to my website at tdhb.club. And you will find it under treatments. Wow, look at that shine that it gives the toner. Look at that. That's beautiful. This toner, guys, you use this toner. If you're trying to treat acne, you use this toner twice per day. And if you're just using it for regular toning, once per day is good enough. I usually use it in the morning as I wake up. I use it on my face, pour it on a cotton cotton ball and massage it all over my face. Leave it on there for 30 minutes, then wash it off. And then I do it again before bed. So do not cleanse your face before you use this. Use this, then you cleanse your face. Yes. Let's print our labels right now so that your toners are good and ready, ready for purchase, ready for shipping. And yes, guys, I know I'm doing everything by hand right now, but in the future, I'm hoping to get a, um, a label printing machine. But right now, your girl, oh, that's all that she has. That's all that she has. So this toner, guys, it's 100% organic and authentic. And all these ingredients are ingredients that people have been using for generations. But we have all forgotten about these natural ingredients because we're so dependent on store-bought things. <laughs> What your girl is bringing you back, authentic, organic, and of course they are vegan, vegan friendly. So here you have your face toner labeled and ready to go. There you are. And of course, again, I, I had to shake it again to see that glow. There's your face toner, guys. And if you like what you see here, please subscribe and check out my website at tdhb.club. And I'll see you another day.